whole design of the house started with uh, some trips to Arizona. Some friends had built a home that was just beautiful on a ski lake. And I really liked the way it flowed out to the lake with the patio. And, you know, they had a lot of, um, I wouldn't say timbers because it was Arizona, but, you know, neat beams and a lot of design work. And, you know, nothing says a Northwest home like, like timbers. You know, timbers, stone, wood siding. You know, it's a, just a really neat look. People are pretty impressed with the, the beams and the post, the design and the, the, the massiveness of them. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. It's one of, the, the, one of our favorite parts of the house is being able to look at the, the timbers every day. Well, I think it turned out great. You know, I think Arrow Timber, Burt, you know, the, the, it was their design, you know, I mean, it was a lot of our ideas, but their design that uh, we just really liked. I'd heard of them, uh, you know, the airport, Timberline, you know, I'd heard of them. And I think I'd looked at the website before, you know, we even started designing. Not that I was, you know, planning on doing timbers, but when we were designing the house, um, the house I mentioned in Arizona, it had a big back patio, but his roof I wasn't crazy about. It was just one big massive roof. I knew I wanted to break it up with some dormers and you know that was one of the things that I talked to Bert about, different shapes and locations and the way it looked, but the back patio, the, the roof looked like a giant flag coming out the back of the house. And I spent a lot of time out there, I didn't want to see it like that. I wanted, I wanted it to look good. The designer um, said, you might want to talk to Arrow Timber. They were really good with the lines of the exterior of the house. And that was probably the, the biggest reason I ended up talking to Arrow Timber. Once you saw what could be done, you, you knew that was the way to go.